Forbes India presents Zenpay Crypto Simplified. Hello and welcome to Crypto Simplified, where we attempt to demystify cryptocurrencies. Joining me on the call today is Diane Dai, co-founder and chief marketing officer at Dodo, all the way from Beijing to give us her perspective of how she got into crypto and why the asset class is here to stay. Hi, Diane. Great to have you here. Hello, Kumar. Thanks for having me here. Thank you. Uh, and uh, Diane, tell us more about uh, Dodo that you've co-founded a while ago, back in uh, August 2020. Uh, it's a decentralized trading protocol, and you already have 1.4 million users. So what does Dodo do? And uh, how did you land on the name Dodo in the first place? Sure, I'm happy to. Um, so Dodo is a decentralized uh, trading protocol for all Web3 assets. So um, like if you are a trader, uh, you want to trade crypto assets, you can get the best uh, uh, trading price here because we, we are also working as an aggregator. And uh, if you are a market maker, you can adopt your own advanced market making strategies here to make money. And uh, if you are a project startup, you want to launch your own token, you can choose the Dodo platform to raise the interest from the community and do the token distribution. Yeah, so uh, we offer these various finance solutions for all kinds of people. Yeah, and uh, regarding to the name of Dodo, uh, actually, um, that, that, that is from my co-founder, um, Rita Beer. He was playing the um, uh, video game called Animal Crossing, and there is a cute Dodo bird um, driving the airplane to do the transport of the vegetables among different islands. So we think this is quite like what the exchange do, right? We uh, distribute distrib the liquidity among different markets. Yeah, and the Dodo, cute, the Dodo bird is also very cute. And we hope we can uh, deliver the message that we are kind and we want to offer best service for people. How many of those uh, do you reckon are from India? Do you see interest from uh, Indians as well of the one and a half uh, million users? Uh, do you see any interest coming from this part of the world? Sure. Um, I think first of all, uh, the whole Asian market is a super big market and uh, vital to the global crypto uh, space. Yeah, and uh, uh, there are a lot of traders in Asian market. Yeah, and uh, uh, different uh, participants. And for uh, uh, Indian market, I think it is special and uh, very important because like uh, you speak native English here uh, compared to other country, countries in Asia, right? So uh, it's easier to have adoption for, for the local India uh, market. So I see a great, uh, potential and I uh, also see the passion from our own India uh, users. Yeah, so that's why we recently um, uh, got listed on a few regulated India exchange to open the fiat market uh, between Dodo token and the India rupee token. Yeah. When did that happen? Uh... Yeah, last two months. So, so users like if you got KYC and uh, uh, on some regulated crypto exchange, you can use your um, rupee to buy the tokens, to trade the tokens, yeah. And you're also uh, an advocate of uh, decentralized finance. You also run uh, DeFi the world amongst the biggest WeChat groups uh, in your country. And how is it? How is DeFi uh, different from uh, conventional finance? Let's start with that. Sure, I think the core difference um, is uh, in DeFi, the decentralized finance, it is you to have full control of your own money in your wallet, in your wallets, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, and this kind of blockchain technology makes sure that you have the keys to your wallet, so you can uh, control your own assets, yeah. And uh, uh, it also offers different opportunities for. Uh, common people equally 
no matter what is uh your like uh, no matter if you graduated from Ivy League or not, no matter if you have a rich father or not, um, like if you have an idea you want to have your own startup, you uh you have your own codings and uh, make and make it verified on blockchain, make it uh saw by the community, then you have easier access to uh, raise interest and uh, raise the liquidity from the community. So I think this space is easier for who have all their own ideas to start their uh, own career here. Yeah. Right. And, and what do you see the potential of uh, DeFi in the next uh, few years? Has it already started to deliver? Sure. Uh, yeah, I think DeFi is uh, actually the cornerstone of crypto and of the whole Web3. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, uh, what, is, uh, what is most uh, interesting to me is there is easier way to access to uh, capital. Yeah, so uh, this is already happened. That's why we uh, used some protocols like Uniswap, like SushiSwap, like Dodo. Um, uh, project teams can issue their token, uh, set up liquidity pools, and set pricing mechanism for their own token, and they can raise money from the community. This is happening. And the ways to um, uh, raise capital has been keep the different innovations. Yeah, so I think this is a, a great revolution uh, for the uh, solution. Uh, for uh, people to set up their own uh, career. And that is uh, rely on your own social capital. Right, so could you, could you please repeat the last line? I think I lost you there. So if you could please do that part again, then we will edit that in. Yeah, um, uh, so I, I, I think there is a, a revolution uh, for how people access to capital without relying on uh, big VC firms or rely on your social capital. Right, lovely. So it, it doesn't matter whether you're big or small. It provides an uh, equal level playing field for everyone yeah. to raise capital rather than you having to know certain biggies yes. or private equity firms and angel investors. Understood. Yeah. And, and, and how do you look at uh, uh, crypto, Diane? Uh, there are people uh, who point to, you know, crazy market gyrations, a few others would rather focus on the technology itself of blockchain that keeps a track of uh, the transactions uh, of crypto and there, it has other applications as well. So how do you see at crypto as a concept in itself? Sure, I think the first image to me of the crypto is the culture and the spirit actually. I think it uh, uh, stands for like uh, the good willing of how people can work with each other without actually know each other or sit down together. So like uh, you're from India, I'm from China and there are people from like different places in the world, but like we can share one co common idea, common vision and uh, we contribute our own effort and we deliver the products or the service that could be beneficial for global people, right? So this is the first thing that uh, um, makes me feel exciting, how people from different places in the world work together. Yeah, this is show the good part of the humanity. Yeah, and after that, it is a neutral uh, technology uh, for me, for, for the blockchain. Yeah, so it really depends on how people could uh, use a good part of the technology to uh, make the world a better place. That's an interesting one, uh, making the world a better place as an intention in itself. Uh, can you point to one or two examples where that can indeed happen, where crypto can be used for the larger good of mankind, if it can indeed, uh, because there are uh, you know, there's a big debate about the whole thing that uh, it is uh, the ones who do not uh, conform or agree to it. They say that it's just a passing fad. So where do you and you've, you know, committed yourself in the industry? Obviously, you see it 
as a beacon of uh, taking it to the next level, even when it comes to applications. So could you point to one or two uh, applications or uh, you know what excited you about crypto when you first got in? Yeah, uh, I think recently there are some good uh, experiments like, uh, you know, there are some um, uh, applications they are trying to uh, put the Web3 technology and the token assets um, in dirt in your own uh, daily life. Like uh, uh, there, there is an app and you can, you know, uh, walking and running and in the same time earning tokens. So it really encouraged you to do more sports, right? To have a more health, uh, healthy life. Yeah, something like this is happening. And I feel uh, people are really thinking about how to uh, use the blockchain technology uh, to make people lead a better life. Yeah, so I think this is a good trend. Right, I think gamification is one section where crypto is contributing disproportionately, isn't it? Even metaverse, for example, where uh, you, you are using certain technology to create uh, an online avatar of the physical world. In fact, JP Morgan recently opened uh, an online branch in the metaverse uh, where you had Mr. Dillon's, uh, that is the CEO's uh, painting, and there was a tiger which was on the prowl. It's a little bit of entertainment, but uh, even the conventional outfits are getting onto it then. Sure, a lot of things, interesting things are happening. And I think this is all kind of experiments. No one can make sure what is the results, but uh, let's try, right? Right, that's right. So a lot of it then is, is trial and error, like the whole industry is learning as it goes along. Would that be a safe thing to say? Oh, sorry, I, I don't understand this question. Would, so would most of it be trial and error experimentation where uh, you try something and let's see where that takes us. Is that how the uh, you know approach towards uh, applications of uh, crypto is given that it's not fairly uh, new or rather it's, it's been around only for 10 years. So the applications are also a result of uh, a lot of experimentation then. Yes. Right. And how do you see the interest among women uh, in the crypto sphere, uh, whether in, in, in India, in fact, it has grown, although on a small base, but it is growing exponentially year on year. So how do you see that in your community? And also, let's say from people that you talk to from India, uh, women as a category, uh, is, how, is, how is that coming along? Sure. I think uh, in people's minds, uh, and the impression, uh, it feels like basically the main participants and also the big figures are all male or men, right? To have the uh, uh, microphone to speaking all the time. Yeah, uh, but actually there are quite a lot of um, great women working in the space actually. So if you do some research, you will find, oh, there. Uh, there are some like important uh, roles like uh, C level, CMO, COO. Uh, they are female and uh, uh, making great job, but they just maybe don't speak a lot and don't uh, be very not not being very active on Twitter or social media. So people may may, may not see them. Yeah, but uh, um. But we are here. <laughs> so I think it's just uh, like uh, how the social media and different media channels um, works. So I really call for the attention from the um, community and uh, from the media people to, to maybe put more attention and uh, dig more stories from the uh, women group. So we are already here, we just need to oh. be seen. Yeah. Understood. And, and when you started your outfit, uh, uh, and you were, you've been here since 2017, and I think you were around yes. 20 at the time, uh, how did, you know, what kind of questions did you get asked, uh, especially given that you started young? Uh, many people choose to do it along with their day jobs, or they get into it well in their 30s, but you chose to start a career, or rather pursue a career in an industry which is uh, not as uh, entrenched 
or not as established as the traditional industry. So what kind of uh, challenges uh, did you face at the beginning and what kind of questions did you get asked? Sure, uh, I think actually when I started uh, uh, Dodo, uh, it's quite uh, uh, smoothly because people know that I am already, uh, you know, uh, being active in the community and uh, del delivering uh, a lot of uh, education articles and uh, meetups. Yeah, so uh, they already know me, so they choose to trust me and invest in me. Yeah, but I do got some uh, questions like, uh, uh, like what is your mode for your business and what is the like a revenue model for your business. And uh, I think this classic questions from lab to VCs, but uh, everything that, you know, the, the whole crypto thing is different from lab two, from the old internet, right? So we need to have different uh, perspective to value the business. Yeah, and uh, yeah, this is, this is my feedback. Right. And last couple of questions. Uh, uh, what would your advice be for people who would want to get into this industry as, uh, you know, maybe founding a company or even be a developer or a technician or, you know, an engineer trying to build applications uh, or learn uh, building them? So what would your advice be? Sure. I think my top advice is do your own research. So if you are a part of the crypto space, no matter you trade or you invest, you study your own project, you need to have your own knowledge, right? Mm. So the way you have your own knowledge is doing research, get to learn it and, uh, uh, and, and make the practice. So just don't think about one idea and just and make it directly or copy things, right? That's not the way, yeah. And uh, uh, yes, and the, I think the starting line is equal for everyone. So everyone got opportunities. You just need to really be the player in the space. Right. And, and the last one, uh, uh, what are some of your uh, future plans and uh, where do you see crypto itself uh, grow, go from where it is uh, today? Yeah, uh, I do think there will be a, a great adoption and uh, explosive Grows no matter for DeFi or for the whole crypto space, yeah, and especially in the current uh, uh, global uh, environment, it is full of uncertainty. So mm -hmm. I think crypto space is more like uh, uh, <laughs> the the community where you know you can at least uh, to um, find people no matter uh, where they are and. Uh, uh, work together, yeah. So uh, I do think there will be uh, different uh, things created from the crypto space. And what I am looking for is um, like uh, uh, we we share we share some uh, life, uh, and that is different in the real world. But you can have it like you have a secondary life in the crypto world. So this involves. Uh, digital currency involves metaverse, involves uh, like different uh, games and uh, uh, finance tools. Yeah, so mm -hmm. yeah, so this is what I am looking for. Like, it's a secondary life opportunity that we are building uh, for people. Yeah, exciting times ahead. Thank you very much, Diane, for your time on this video cast and podcast. Thank you so much. Forbes India presents Zempay Crypto Simplified.